Good on you, Bobby. All right. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, or afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Good to be here. And uh, had to start by Target to get some new headphones. $19 Sony's. Plug in. No batteries, no volume control, no crap. Just $19 good old American. Wait a minute. Like Sony's American. Anyway, uh, there's a Sony plant in Carrollton, Georgia, so maybe they make them there. But anyway, just good old, you know, regular old wire stuff that I don't have to worry about garbage being um, unbelievable. Those other ones, I was in the gym working out there, and, you know, battery low, and then it cuts off. And then the chick beside me is on the bicycle, and I'm like, I'm watching, you know, Tom and Tony, and I'm like, yo, girl, is this too loud? And she's like, so. And I hate going in Target, too. I'm more of a Walmart shopper. Now, Beth loves her some Target. I said, why don't you go to Walmart? It's cheaper at Walmart. I don't like going in there. There's weird people in there. I said, Beth, that's our people. That is our people, the Walmart people, the weird people. Not these affluent Lululemon, you know, soccer mom, yoga-wearing people that go to Target. That's not our people. I got to hang out with our people. So, uh, I don't know. So, I got something that hopefully will work. I don't have to plug in. They should last 20 years. I gave 20 bucks for them. Hey, uh, <clears throat> now the Target woman helped me. She was very nice. So she said, these are normally $45, but they're on sale for $19.99. So she sold me. I said, sold, girl. 50% off. I'm good for it. Oh, let me plug a couple things before we get started. Um, if you're not in the Muscadine Mafia group, what is your problem? Y'all got to join the Muscadine Mafia group. The Muscadine Mafia group is the greatest group of all time. Okay. And these mastermind sessions that we're having are really amazing. I think maybe y'all don't think they're good, but it's really causing a lot of discussion. So this is where the masterminds, we get together, we talk strategy, we talk shop, we talk, you know, whatever. And our next one's going to be Monday, September 12th at 2 p.m. So how do you become a member of the Muscadine Mafia? Well, first you got to join our Discord. Now, y'all, people who can't trade teach, right? So that's what you should assume about me. Bobby don't know what he's doing. He's crazy. So we've got a Discord room. And if you can join our Discord, it's in the description under the video on YouTube. And you can join for $9.99 a month. You can cancel any time. And then when you get in, so that makes you a premium nerd. So you can watch all the rooms over here. But then if you really want to step up your game, you can click on premium membership. For an additional $2.99 a month, you get to be a ninja nerd, which is really, really cool. But if you want to step your game up just a little more, go to the Hello Ladies game, $9.99 a month, and then the illustrious Muscatine Mafia for $24.99 a month. Now, what do you get? You can't spend any time, by the way. What do you get with ninja nerds? You get one mastermind session a month. It's not too bad, right? Hello Ladies game, you get two mastermind extra sessions per month. That's kind of cool, right? Muscadine Mafia, you get one every week, baby. Yeah. So come on in and uh, be a part of the illustrious premium memberships. And if you can't make those live, we record them. All right? So we give you access to all the recordings. So it's really, really cool. All right, let's look at the market, though. The market cannot make up its mind, y'all. I mean, I hear Tom and Tony talking, it's up 23. It's down 23. It's up 23. It's up 20. I think what we're going to find is that this uh, 4,000 level is going to be hard to keep for the short-term future. I think we're going to try to bump our head above 4,000. 4, I just, I think that's gonna be a point where a lot of battles are gonna be waged. Here was the overnight high, 39.96. And I just think it's gonna be a, a, a area where we're gonna have a lot of uh, battle. So the bulls will try to take it out, but I think they're gonna be overtaken by the bears as they were here, you see? So, and you can see also what happens on volume as volume starts going up, and we've got a lot of stuff in world news, right? London Bridge is falling down, ladies and gentlemen. It appears that Her Majesty, who has been Her Majesty through all of our lives, y'all, I mean, just about, I'm sure everybody here, she has been the queen. Uh, you know, she is either dead or on death's door, and they have to go through a lot of different pageantry type stuff before they announce to the world that she's dead. But there is a really, really good chance that she has already passed. So they're calling the family in. Uh, they will have to kiss the ring of Charles before they leave. A lot of pomp and circumstance goes on. And it's just, it's, it's kind of cool. It's, it's kind of like the stuff that none of us have seen during our lifetime. The closest thing 
that we will have seen to this would have been when the Pope, you know, dies or retires, you know, and you get a new Pope. So, you know, the whole world's going to be watching. It's going to be you know, kind of cool, you know. I mean, I'm the one that got up at 4.30, 5 o'clock in the morning to watch uh, Charles and Diana get married. So do I have some interest in it? I guess I do. I guess I do. So uh, kind of cool stuff going on. And yeah, prayers for their family, though. It's not cool that she's dead, but it is cool that she has been in on the uh, throne for so many years. So many years. All right. So we got the market doing what the market does uh, up and down. We're back out of the 15-minute opening range. Looks like we're going to make another push now. now we're going to make another push. May push toward that 4,000, and I think we'll probably get beat down again. I just don't see us going above it today. There's a double for her in public. She has man he Wow. Yeah, I think she's. I think she's gone. I think she has passed over to Chili Jordan's side. Uh, so prayers for that man. All right. So. We're above VWAP now. Hourly mid band is trickling up. We got overnight high here, overnight low here. Looks kind of like an inside day to me, what we would call a range day. We go up, we go down, we go up, we go down, we go up, and we're just up just a little bit today. All right. Oh, I was talking about the mastermind session. Our last mastermind session, who was open to this week to both the Hello Ladies game and to the Muscadine Mafia. Wow. I, after we got finished, I could not stop thinking. And I went into the laboratory and I did some stuff and I made some amendments to my trading plan. Shocking, right? So um, but we'll, we'll talk about it. And we're really going to go into detail on why that happened. It happened because of this paperwork. Y'all see this paperwork here? This is my laboratory. I can hardly see it. I was just kind of blurred. But I went into the laboratory and I did some ciphering. I did some Flat out Jethro Bodine Cyprin, baby, to make some changes to the way I'm going to manage my forest. But we'll talk about it. All right. So mark it up. Let's see what the big green monster say. Big green monster, baby, says we are oversold. And notice our point of control has totally shifted to the downside. So it locks the point of control. This is like a vacuum. It sucks up price this is where price is comfortable at the 39.84 level and you see price is being sucked at it again now where might we go if we're over so there is a tendency to go back into this area so it kind of this kind of looks bullish here right we, we stayed over bought for a while but it's now over so so we'll see uh you know can't get a too big of a read but really it always loves you know checking these little uh, areas, these little vacuum pockets here of low volume. So we'll see if it does that. But what I really see is some constrainment between the value area high and value area low for the next 10 days or so. We'll see if it kind of bumps in through there a while. All right. So if I could not be more vague there, let's try to do it here. So OB Hayes, we go to the tops, we go to the bottoms, we have little blue runs, and I still believe we have much farther down to go. I know nothing. All right, so let's get into our little trading plan today. See what we should do. All right, here's the, now I gotta say this. I did update my stuff yesterday. Y'all, we got a bad mark here. This There's no way we were up $802 on that day there's just no way that we were so this was a much better mark yesterday so i think we were up from here to here but remember when i was trying to close that one and said it was up to like 140 percent and it really wasn't so we were getting bad numbers here i think so let's see what our number is today i did update it yesterday i did not trade yesterday but ladies and gentlemen i did have a trade since you and i last met so i will update you on what i did but first, let's update this. All right. Our balance today is 26. Why don't I show you on the screen? Because I used to, and I got yelled at by Thinkorswim. They were like, that's not good. You can't do that, you tubby little son of a gun, you. Said, okay. If any of y'all ever want to see my statement, just let me know. I, I, got no, I got no worries. All right. So we are at... 26, 3, 14, point 59. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. And we're moving on. Well, we're moving on now. Yeah, we're moving on up to the east side. To a deep, lots of apartments in the sky. Right, so 
So on this one, we are at 822. We are at 101, 558.31. So here we go. No, we're at 116. Now, some people will say, Bobby, you're, since you started, you're down $130 here. That is true. Someone had a question about that. In fact, it's not because of the 111s. It's because of other garbage that we had going on, too, right? Mostly 101s, but we had some um, we had some future things that really went against us. We had all kinds of stuff. So keep that in mind. It's not reflected in what we do in the 111s. I'm not trying to hide anything. I'm sure everybody knows. Plus, I'm the worst trader in the world. There is nobody worse than me. I will do the wrong thing. That's the absolute worst possible time. All right, let's go get our Greekies. Come here, babies. Come here, little sweetheart. All right, so let's go to the Crimson account. I got another account, too. I need to do something in. I think it's this one. Look at this, y'all. Oh, my gosh. Where did my money go? I had some money in this account. Maybe, I don't know. maybe it's not that one. Maybe it's, I don't know. Maybe it's this one. No? Anyway, what did I do? Take my money out? Hold on. This should have one. Money in it. Let's see. I think I got two or three thousand in there. How about you don't show my? Anyway. Let me get the route again. All right, let's get to this one. All right, look at this. You see my deltas are point three two. Oh, be hey, how can that be? Well, I sold a future. Bobby, I thought you said you weren't going to sell a future. Are you doggone right? Uh oh, my deltas ain't right. Hold on. There we go. Negative three point six five. I thought you weren't going to sell futures anymore. I told you. The mastermind group changed my mind on a couple things. I'm not going to do it as often as before, but I did do it. So I will try to explain to you why I did it. And let's make sure y'all see that. Let's see my account statement. The last trade that I made, I sold a future. Not yesterday, but the day before, after our session, I sold it at 39.05. Uh, 39.05. Well, that's terrible, Bobby. You sold a future at 39.05 and now we're at 39.78. I got you, baby. I got you. You're right. Bobby makes the worst trade at the worst possible time. No doubt. All right. So let's go bit back. I just want to make sure y'all knew that I did sell a future. And we'll talk more about why. All right. So our deltas are negative 3.72. Feeling real, real good. Recent ratios, negative 3.72. Our theta is 75.42. I like it. Nine. And our buying power usage is a mere 83.49. All right, let's evaluate the account, shall we, ladies and gentlemen? All right. Here's where we, here's where we gotta do some explaining because we got some, we got some different stuff that I'm thinking about. All right. So, <clears throat> if I were not short a future, what would my deltas be, Matt? Can you talk, man? Matt knows. If I were not short one micro future, what would my deltas be? Positive forty-seven. Do you see this, ladies and gentlemen? Matt came in here. Just a baby. I mean, two years ago. And this dude, I mean, there's nothing I can ask Matt that Matt don't know. Matt is the man. The honest to God is the man. He is exactly right. So my deltas would be right at 47, right? So it'd be because I get 50 negative deltas for my thing. So if I got 3.72 negative plus the 50 that I'm short in the future, my deltas would be 46.28. Let's just put 46.28 there, because I want to show you something. Now, if my deltas were 46.28, my theta was 0.29, and my buying power were 31.73, we monitor three metrics. The three metrics that we measure are delta, theta, and buying power. Okay. How many of these are out of whack? Okay. Well, Bob, there's only one out of whack. The only one that's out of whack would be my buying. No, buying power usage is fine, right? Because uh, this is between 20 and 30, so I can use 35% max. So this is not out of whack. I would have one out of whack. 
All right. So if I've got one of three things out of whack, I don't feel bad. I don't feel bad at all. But I went and did some siphoning. I went and did some stuff. And I went and after our conversation the other day, and even after Ed brought it up, I go, God, you know, I think Ed may be right. What if we've got the wrong metric on theta? Now, y'all, what is our metric on theta? Our metric on theta is to be between 0.1% of your net lead or your portfolio and 0.5% of your portfolio. Hmm. Well, have we ever been at 0.5? Well, let's see. So don't look at these blues. These are some things that's just for my own internal coding. But I went back and said, well, yeah, look at all these times that we were above 0.5. So I kind of started looking and go, wait a minute. Well, what happened if we were at 0.28? Well, fine power was out of whack. This wasn't out of whack. This wasn't out of whack. So I kind of went in, and I was going to do some linear regression, and I was going to do some correlation analysis. And finally, I said, screw that. I said, let's pull out the old notebook paper on the back of the Bowden Baptist kindergarten uh, page here, and let's just do some science here. So I did some Jeffrey Bodine ciphering, and I came up with something. Now, Ed, who is not here today, Ed, just out of his head, said, Bobby, I, you know, I think I'm going to make an adjustment on theta. I said, what are you going to do, dude? He said, I think I'm going to make mine, you know, maximum of 0.3. I said, really? I said, well, let me look and do a little analysis and see, you know, how many times we were between 0.1 and 0.3 uh, since we started doing this. And I did the analysis. And I came back and said, you know what? It's not 0.3 yet, it's 0.25. It's actually 0.25 that, now instead of 0.5, because at 0.5, everything's out of whack. So I said, at what point do we have optimized our theta, optimized our deltas and our fine power? And it was at 0.25. So let's now go back. So now if I'm looking at my portfolio and my deltas were 46.28, I'm at 0.29, and this is 31%. How many are out of whack? Two of them are out of whack. Okay. So you're telling me I've got two out of three. Ken says almost every time my theta was too high, I have ruled today. This is great. Good. So I said, wait a minute. That's it. That's kind of it. So I made a revision to my buying power. I want to keep my theta a little lower, y'all. I want to keep my theta between 0.1 and 0.25 instead of 0.5. Now, it's going to show up green here till I fix this. I'm going to fix it to where it's red if it's point, you know, above 0.25. I can do that. No big deal. So that's why I said, wait a minute. If this is out of whack and this is out of whack and this is fine, I got two out of three things beating my head against me. I'm rowing upstream. That's why I sold the future. I said, I can fix one of them. Which one can I fix? Easiest? I can fix my delta. So now my deltas are fine. My buying power is fine. And my theta is out of whack. Mind blown. Did I explain that okay? That's just my thought. Now, you ain't got to change nothing. Don't you change. Don't you do. Don't you follow me. I'm horrible. I change stuff all the time. But if you're going to change it, write it down into your plan and make the change. So I'm going to make the change. Now, that doesn't mean I may not change it back to point three in two weeks, or I may change it back to point five. I'm just saying for right now, my plan is, my plan now is to keep two out of the three on my side. If I can keep two out of three on my side, I don't think I need to have three out of three. Two out of three, I think I'm going to be fat and sassy. All right, now with that going on, let's look at the second account. This is great, y'all. And, and again, if you're missing this stuff, I'm telling you, you need to be in those mastermind groups. The mastermind groups is where we sit around and we talk about this stuff. And it's really good. I, we get to hear what Stacy and Rick does. And, I mean, they're really good sessions. So if you can make a live session, please make them. And we'll try to do some in the evening when my kids are preoccupied and Beth will let me. 
so that some of y'all can't do it during work, you know, during the day, we can maybe do some of those. It's just fun to just sit there. And, now, has anyone got any questions or comments on the strategy? The adjustment. Y'all like it? Y'all hate it? Because we are quantitative people. Let's keep the odds in our favor. I'd rather have two out of three in my favor. Now, Bobby, won't you keep three out of three in your favor? Maybe that's maybe that's ultimate too. I think keeping two out of three is okay. This is fine. This is fine. Yeah, I'm a little high. Big deal. That's my that's my new process. All right, so let's go to the other camp. This is so good, y'all. Oh, this is deep. This is deep. Let's go to the other camp. All right, deltas, 88.35. Let's see if deltas are okay. 88.35. No adjustment. Deltas are fine. Okay, let's go to our theta. Theta is 139.16. Oh, beautiful theta at 0.14%. So two out of three are beautiful. So let's see what the third one is. The third one is buy power 24779. 24779. Beautiful. 24% could be up to 35%. All right. So now let's look at both. Now let's look at both and, and see if we can put on a new trade today, right? So let's go to here. Now remember the rule is my portfolio is okay if two out of three are okay. But am I putting on a new trade today? Oh, heck to the no. Why? Because my theta is too high. Now, that is a big deviation from before where I said, you know what? Screw it. As long as we're under 0 0.5, I'm going to put a trade on. As long as everything is fine. This is fine. This is fine. And this on Tuesday of this week was fine. It ain't fine no more. My new rule says if one out of three is bad, you don't trade, Bob. You just sit on back and collect your data. And because two out of so opening trade, I need all three of them lined up. Do I need to make a closing adjustment or sell a future or buy a future or sell? No. Why? Because two out of three are okay. God, this is good. <laughs> Jose Canseco for the win, baby. I love this stuff. All right, so let's go to the other team. So closing-wise, account adjustment-wise, do I need to adjust anything? This is fine. This is fine. This is fine. All three are fine. So what is that telling me? Hey, dude, you need to make a, say it with me, opening trade. Beautiful. And because all three are fine, I don't need to make a closing trade if I don't want to. God, this is good. Are y'all feeling it? Or am I the only one feeling it today? Hmm. I went to McDonald's today. Got me a Big Mac with light lettuce because lettuce is bad for me. It really is. So, and they had a sign. Now, you know how they got the two little, uh, you know, order boards and two cars can be there at the same time? Well, there's this, this bookie looking car with this bookie looking family look like they I you know I was more fluent I just got back from Target and they'd probably been to the Walmart or to the Dollar General and uh you know they were bookie looking and so they're just staring at the board. Well on both of our boards it's got a sign and the sign says uh order you have to drive up to order the their little sound boards were out their speakers were out so they had to drive up north. So they're doing like this, you know, looking through their glasses, trying to figure out what they're going to order. So, you know, they they were there before I was. But you know how, you know, if you don't pull up, the other car pulls up. So I pull up. And I hear this, this dude go, hey, you pulled in front of me. And y'all be proud of me. I didn't look out my window and say, listen, heathen, you were still looking at the board trying to figure out what you're going to order. I need what I was going to order, you know. So while they were just sitting there parked there, there was a huge gap. So I did drive ahead. I knew what I was going to order. Did I read the board quicker than they did? And I made that decision? I don't know. And then, so they get behind, and I could just see them back there going, you know, doing their little heads like this, their little bookie heads. And uh, it was really great, though, because they got tired of waiting because it sure slowed the line down. And so then they went beside me 
flipped me a bird. And y'all, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't bat an eye. I didn't call them names. I didn't throw my phone at them. I just, I didn't even wave. I just kind of smiled. Y'all, progress, right? So we make progress in trading. We make progress in being better human beings, even though I guess technically I did cut them off. All right, so let's look at this one. So we got to have a new trade over here. All right, so let's go over here. And let's put us on the new trade today. So the market's kind of flat. So I'm probably leaning toward a one, one, two, right? I'm going to kind of get my shorts way, 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 way out of the money. So let's see if we can do a one, one, two today. It's been a while since we traded him. And I hate to take him yesterday, y'all. Of course, I had a good time at Ted's Montana Grill in Atlanta with my friend Steve. And we're like in the building, I think, where Ted Turner lives, which is kind of cool. Uh, so let's go here. Table, MES. We're going to go closest to 60 days without going over. Oh, behave. Do we not have anything in this 54 day? Wow. Where have we been? What have we been doing? So let's go over here. 54 days. And let's do a long foot vertical. Sure, we the right thing. Deja, deja, no, I need deja vu. What is it going to be? All right, here we go. $10, $10, $10, 975 is where we want to be. Uh oh, 975 is where we want to be. And then we bump that up a quarter so we can get filled and shebang, shebang. <laughs> Boom. Then we're going to go find something around $10 or we can save it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So I'm gonna go to eleven dollars. Now I'm gonna go ten seventy five, thirty three hundred. There's a lot more liquidity on the hundred strikes and fifty strikes than there are the sixty, seventy, eighty, ninety strikes. So let's try to go to the mid price of eleven twenty five. We're gonna sell two of them because this is gonna be a one one two. Ta da! I said ta da! Of 11, knock her down a bit, do 11, and that should feel, and feel me, baby. Beautiful. Hastyworks did a study, Dwayne says, it said buying power for lower strikes expanded faster than higher strikes, as I understood it. Does that imply that 111s would not expand as fast as 112? That's probably the case, Dwayne. I, would, I could see that. I could see that. I, I remember that study, too. Yeah. Quentin says he thinks that applies. Oh, it's Quentin in here. Quentin, how's Alabama going, baby? Roll Tide. Hey, Bobby. Everything's going well. Good, good baby. Good. Good, good, good. All right. So we got Phil. Quentin's, Quentin's at the university doing university-type stuff. Pulling for the... And, you know, JoJo's practice, I think he practice, and one of his coaches is like a Georgia Bulldog fan. He goes, how are y'all going to be a dog if y'all don't work? And I, JoJo's over the sideline, you know, he's seven years old. He said, Daddy, he wants me to be a dog. I said, you be an elephant, baby. You be an elephant, baby. And the coaches just kind of look at me like, okay, dude, you know you live in Georgia. Oh, I know. I know I'm behind enemy lines. Whew. All right, what will we do? Oh, now we got to put that on in the IRA. Mm -hmm. So we're going to trade over here. Going to go to the micros. Going to the micros and we're going to get married. All right. All right. So micros, we're going to go to this 53 day. And we're going to sell two of the 33 hundreds. And see, if, if any of my stuff get out of whack, baby, all I got to do is I got to just make adjustments. And we'll talk about adjustments later, right? What adjustments will you make? Well, I'm a, I sold a future the other day. So two of the 3300s, then 3750, 3700. 3750, 3700. So we buy that. Badunka Dunka. And we're going to sell the 3700. Now, I bet Clinton is more of a target guy than he is a, uh, a Walmart guy. He just didn't catch me as a Walmart guy. I'm more of a Walmart guy. It's just like today, though. I've oh, 
it takes you, you know, you stay in Walmart two hours because I would have found something to divert my teaching. But in Target, I just went out. There's too many yoga pants. There's too many, you know, too many stuff that it's just, I don't know. I ain't got time to do it. All right, see if we get Phil for $13. Come on, baby. Come on. And then if you really want to knock it down the level, go to the Dollar General, baby. Let me tell you something. You think you can't get cut in the Dollar General? Hmm. Yeah, you better bring your pocket knife to that place. That is, uh, oh, we ain't got no liquidity today. Come on, baby. Feel me. As long as I get over $10, I'm fine. But I'm going to work it down, y'all. If y'all don't mind, I'll just play along with me. $56 in credit. There we go. Twelve fifty. Twelve fifty. Let's go put it in. And then we'll get to check out the ladies today. Now, Stacy's our only lady in here. Stacy, that doesn't offend you when I say, hello, lady. I'm, I don't want to, you know, I don't want Stacy to be like, oh, when he says that, oh, it just gets to me. I just don't want, I don't want her to be there. Stacy, you okay? She may have already went out. One more, two, fifty third. Because uh, I get all these statistics from YouTube of who watches our videos. It's 99.9% mean and there's like 0.1 percent women and there's like 0.001 undecided what did i think oh we did the 3750 3700 uh 3300 puts get a 112 i can't remember was it 1250 we did this at 53 53 days Wait a minute. This is right. Have I not traded since 829? I guess that's right, y'all. Well, I knew it'd been a while, but I guess because the market's been going down the last eight or nine days. Wow, look at us. Look at us holding the forward. And I think we got filled at 12 feet. Kind of 12 feet. Yeah, twelve feet. 12 feet. Brought in $56. All right, now time to go see if there's anything that I want to trade. Now, do I need to close anything? I don't have to, right? I don't have to because my Greeks say, you know, Bob, you're fine. You know, you're good, baby. You're on all three fronts. This is good. This is good. This is good. You ain't got to close anything. But is there something that I think can close? So then I would say, well, do I have something that's up, you know, 65% or more? 39%, 59%. Well, huh. Uh, now, this can't be right. We don't have a 143% winner. Come on, you're fooling me. Are you kidding? That's like going back in the 80s. You're heading up to the bar, and there's Brooke Shields. And you go, that ain't Brooke Shields. That ain't her. Unbelievable. 83%? 33%? 41%? 90%? Unbelievable. It's like having the whole cast of Baywatch sitting at the bar. I mean, this is unbelievable. 48%, 2%, okay, okay. I mean, if this is true, I'm, I'm doubting. Let's see what we can get this feel for. 112, 47. I mean, you got to take this one off, right? Got to. So let's see if we can take this monkey off. I mean, hello, ladies. Create closing order. Do you come here often? All right, so then we got to get two of the 36 30s. 22 days out. Two of the 36 30s. 36 30s. Two of them. Chime on. Chime on, little babies. 36 30s. Two of those babies taking off risk. So, two of the 36 30s. Ain't no way we're going to get out of this for 575, 550, is there? Ow, be done. That was Brooke Shields. Did you get her number? And the last thing I saw Brooke Shields on was Beat Bobby Flay, which I love watching too on Food Network. That's all I watch is Food Network. All right, so 550 on the 11247. I can't believe that. Y'all, we made a credit. 
So let's go find the 11247. Hello, Brooke Shields. That's our oldest trade, right? And we got out of it for a 550 credit. Hmm. Law. Oh, mercy. 9822. $73.24. Mama packed the bags and hit to the outback. Not really Australia, it's just that I have that. 73.24. We won't be eating dinner tonight. 73.24. Let's go get our little profit calendar, shall we? All right, at 73.24. I can't believe that. Boys, premium has come in, y'all. Okay, so yesterday we didn't do anything. Little Bobby was at Ted's, Ted's uh, Montana Grill. Uh-oh, that should be orange. Since we can do anything. So we make 7324. Oh, hey, you capitalist pig, you. How did you rob the market like that, bro? Genius, you. 7324. So look at us, y'all. Nice. We've done great. So the other count, let's go see the other count. Because the other count has a few issues, right? The other count, let's just go back to the other count. Other count has one issue. Well, we've got this. I don't want to hold that future any more than we have to, but we've got a little bit of a theta issue. Not a big problem. And we're at 31% buying power. So if there is something I can close in the other account, it would be a wonderful time to do that. So let's go over here to the Crimson account. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Oh, B. Oh, hello, ladies. Jennifer Aniston is sitting to my left. Crap, I see it. So oh, that's my future. Let me move him to the future screen. So we don't miss me. Futures, baby. Mm hmm. Well, hello, ladies. Come here often. Mm. So is my future down $435? Unbelievable. Jeez Louise, Bob. You shouldn't have put that on, you moron. All right, so let's take this off. Futures always work against me. If I don't have to put them on, I don't want to put them on. So let's take this one off right here. Create closing order. Mm -hmm. Let the premium come in, baby. So then we're going to uh, buy two of the 36.30. So like it's the same trade we had in the other one, right? 22 days. 3630s, buy two of them. 3630, buy two of those. 575, we're gonna try 575 on this one. Come on, baby. Why didn't I try $6? You know why? Because I'm a compassionate capitalist. That's what I am. 575, baby, out of the 11247. 11247, 575. Daddy, do you know? I've got to make that credit. Make a credit negative. Look at us, y'all. 9822, year of our lower, making a uh, y'all 74. That's $150 in two accounts. Of course, I lost $400 in my future. Don't bring it up. I'm just being honest. Okay, so 7449. Let's go put that in our little bindy. Majiggy. So you probably spreadsheet profit calendar. 7449. Shamo. Ooh, that looks bad. We ain't traded in a while, have we? Five, six, seven. Eight, who do we appreciate? So we got nothing there. 74.49. And then we'll make the screen. And then we'll come up here. And format it. We'll make paintor. And boom, chicka waka, chicka waka, chicka. Boom. So. All right. Questions, comments. How y'all feel? And again, I sold the future. Should I have? Probably not. I've lost a lot of money on the future. That's the, that's the thing that bothers me. 
but I got my groups back in line. Got my groups back in line. Now, what I normally don't do is take a peek at my groups after I've made a change, but I kind of want to get that future off. Let me see if I can. So now my deltas are negative 14.09, negative 14.44. I normally don't do this, y'all, a second time. We should have made a change into our theta. 59.56. Look at this, y'all. Oh, look at that, y'all. Look at that. And then our fine power now is 66.09. Wow. So now this is good. This is good. This is good. But I'm not going to base it on my amended things. I could take the future off now, but I'm not. I'm going to let it go another day. It's just what I'm going to do. Because that's the way I normally do it. I, I check it once a day. I can't, you know, I can't do this all my life. Are y'all the same way? I mean, it's like, I got I to gotta take breaks, man. I got stuff I got to do. I got to go get fights with people at, at McDonald's. I got to, you know, bust with my neighbor. I got all these fights to get into. I don't have time for this. So I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. I will see y'all tomorrow.